Hello. Uh, this video is a follow-up video <coughs> for my previous one from the last week, <coughs> where I was explaining uh, a special prompt, uh, which could include or combine um, as an input image and uh, textual information, uh, as well with, uh, with spatial information retrieved from OCR. And this prompt is being sent to Vision LLM uh, to produce the answer, to produce structured output from the document. <coughs> Today, I'll, <coughs> I'll uh, work on the same example, and I'll show you a couple of additional uh, features that can be leveraged by this approach, and uh, this might be useful in your use case. The idea is that uh, in some cases when uh, Vision LM may not produce a good result or make mistakes uh, by reading uh, text, uh, you could have the option where uh, you would do pre-processing for the image uh, with OCR. You would read the data first with OCR, construct the prompts with spatial information, and you would pass to the Vision LLM, uh, besides the original image, also that uh, prompt uh, uh, constructed out of the OCR result. And based on my tests, uh, this helps uh, Vision LLM to produce uh, answer uh, that... Uh, takes into the account not only the information from the image, but also information provided in this uh, textual parts received from, from OCR. So I'm not saying that it's useful in all cases, but in some cases it's useful. Based on my tests, uh, it's useful with complex documents when Vision LLM is uh, making mistakes and not able to read all the data, and when we supply additional text data, uh, it, it seems like it's able to process uh, and produce better results. And let's see, in uh, this example that I have <coughs> over here, uh, I have a simple example, just uh, uh, the idea is that so it would be easier for you to understand the functionality. The same approach could work also on more complex examples as I tested. Right, uh, and here yeah, we have a receipt here with uh, items, and I already have OCR data, which will be fetched uh, for the prompt preparation. And then I have a query where I fetch uh, item names, uh, quantity, and price for each item from the receipt. There are three of them at the moment. Then we pre-process all this data, construct the prompt, and then we send the request to uh, Vision LLM. I'm using Mistral small 3.1, uh, 24 billion LLM with 8-bit quantization. It runs locally on my machine. It runs uh, using um, MLX and uh, uh, MLX VLM library. Uh, it runs on Mac Mini 64 gigabyte uh, Pro machine. Okay, so over here we pass the image and we pass uh, pre-process prompt. Now let's uh, execute first the request with uh, OCR dat data, which uh, uh, is exactly the same as the one in the image. And this is the prompt that we pass, uh, the same like it was explained in my previous video, the same prompt. I'm passing here uh, textual information, and it's being sorted uh, with uh, spatial information. Uh, calculated out of box coordinates retrieved from Paddle OCR in this case for each uh, text group. So this uh, seems like this helps Vision LM to understand better the image and uh, to map uh, the text retrieved by uh, Vision LM itself with the uh, text prompt which is being sent uh, f uh, from, from OCR in this case. Okay, uh, we got the result. So we got item name, then this is quantity one, and the price uh, 59, uh, and without uh, cents. So just $59 or whatever. Now, uh, to show you how uh, we could uh, apply hybrid approach and inject, inject our own data, uh, so that Vision LLM would use our own data and uh, it would use this data uh, <clears throat> as a result, but uh, the, the job of Vision LLM is to uh, implement mapping 
key value pair mapping and uh, identify the relationships between data. So construct such value pairs like item name, value, quantity, value, price, value, and so on. So now uh, to show you that it works, uh, let's change uh, uh, original OCR data. Uh, let's add some change over here and uh, for, the, for the string value and let's add change for the price. And now we'll re-execute the same request and now we'll use this modified data from, from OCR that I modified myself and we can see now we got those changes in the prompt, uh, ABC and 999 uh, change for the, for the item, pri uh, item uh, price basically in this case. And we see that we pass the original image and we pass this uh, text here and we see that uh, it goes uh, modified text like with ABC here and 999. So now in a few seconds we'll get the result and we should see that uh, the output from Vision LLM uh, we get expected to include information not the one from the image but the one we passed for the text prompt. And exactly, so we got answer here from Vision LLM and for the item name we got ABC here and the price is modified. So it uh, reflects the changes as we had uh, in this uh, JSON file where we keep OCR result. So what this means? This, this uh, means that uh, in some cases uh, when it might be useful, <coughs> we could apply a uh, hybrid approach when we could pass as an input not only image and text also from the OCR source. <coughs> And especially this might be useful when we see that Vision LM itself is not able to extract correct values and we don't want to rely on Vision LM to extract values. We want to pass our, our own values extracted from another source like uh, external OCR system or whatever. And we want Vision LM to do only mapping job, to map uh, data and to find the relationships between key value pairs. So in this case, uh, this would be the Vision LM job. Uh, right, and now just to show that it really works, uh, if I revert values back to original for both and execute, then in this case uh, values will be as the one as, as, as from the image. I tested it also with more complex documents when we have uh, uh, larger amount or larger size of uh, text input with spatial information. It works, uh, but it, I'm still doing testing because it looks like sometimes when uh, there's a, a huge document with a lot of text input, uh, those uh, local vision LLM uh, may struggle to process all the context and it may produce the only part of the result in the output, not not, not entire result for, for the old page, for entire page. but. I'm not done testing yet, uh, so I would comment on this probably in my next video. All right, so now we got back the result. As uh, At this moment we are using OCR uh, text identical to the one from the image and we got the, exactly the same data as in the image. So thanks for watching and hopefully uh, this example and this hybrid approach <coughs> will be useful for your use case and uh, please uh, uh, check out uh, Sparrow GitHub repo and this also online uh, application for structured data extraction based on Sparrow on, katana ML, uh, on, on Sparrow .katana ML .io. the link is available in the description below this video so thanks for watching and see you next time bye